Hey guys, welcome to Goo Gaming. And we just got first place at the Goo Gaming 3v3 in, at Cedar Bluff and at CM Games. Uh, I decided to play Rescue Eggs. Uh, my teammates, Aaron, he played Labyrinth, and then Trevor, he played Unchained. We got first place, crushed the tournament. Uh, before I get into my deck profile though, I wanna do a few shout outs. So shout out to CM Games, Card Monster Games, best sponsor, best team, Goo Gaming. Uh, Dueling Guard, great sponsor as well. Check out their deck boxes and their Black Friday sale. And make sure to follow me on Twitter at Big Poppy Yami. That's where I do all my tournament reports and uh, show my deck before they come up on YouTube. So if you want to see that, and you can interact with me and stuff on there too, a lot easier than you can like through the YouTube comments. So you know if you want to just talk about stuff, just follow me on there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the deck. So I played a different version of Rescue Ace. Um, I guess I'll get into it. Uh, I played three Airlifter. This is standard. Um, I played three Hydrant. This is different. Um, a lot of people were playing two right now, but I didn't play any of the tuners um, because I wanted to make my deck as good against hand traps as possible. Um, and I think three of this makes sense whenever you're playing a simple spoils package because you always want to have a level one fire in your deck because um, this is all your summoning or searching. Uh, we have two Turbulence and two Preventer. Uh, this is standard, of course. Um, and then I played... Uh, three Impulse and a Fire Engine. Um, <clears throat> I was playing this before the Diabelle Star cards came out, and I liked it a lot, but after whenever I was playing the Tuner, I didn't want to have this many cards that didn't do anything turn one. But since I cut the Tuners, um, I think this engine's really strong. It's also, I felt like a lot of uh, Pearly was going to be at the tournament, and it was really good against them as well. So, I think this card, the card was insane all day, to be honest. Um, in the Diabelle Star Engine, I played three Wanted, uh, two Witch, and then the spell. Um, I know Santoli only plays one of this, but I think this engine's so strong at pushing through boards and hand traps that you should like, because they don't know you're not playing the tuners, right? So like, they're gonna stop this, like, because you could be playing Jet or whatever most of the time, so. Uh, then, this is weird for me, because I'm really against this, but I played two Prosperity, um, because basically the way I looked at this card, I was only playing hand traps in my version of the deck this time. There was no board breakers in my main deck. So I only looked at this card as finding engine instead of finding like a board breaker. So it's like not a going second card, right? And I decided to cut the third prosperity for the third hydrant. And it also made my deck a little bit smoother because like I got to draw cards off of like the filled spell turn one and wanted and didn't have to worry about drawing this as much. I only drew it like off of a draw like one time. So I, I don't know if I continue playing two, but it wasn't bad at two. Uh, Rhoda, that's just another engine card. And the rescue spells, three emergency, HQ, alert rescue, contained extinguish. Uh, these are standard. I, I heard people saying they were cutting this. That's all I'm going to get on that. I don't know why you would do that. Um, so hand traps, I played three imperm, three nib, three ash. So a little story. Uh, I was playing the Infernoble version. And I started playtesting against Trevor. And he was playing Unchained with like a bunch of hand traps. And... I was just getting destroyed because like I would break his board and his last card would be like nib or like I would go first and he would nib me and my board wouldn't be strong enough and he would break it. So nib was really strong, especially backed up with like a medium board. And I was like, that's the reason I decided to like change like into like impulse and stuff because like if you get nib and you still have like impulse and stuff like that, you still can like fight back and like not just play with your back row. So I played those in the last card, which I really didn't want to play was two Valor. I think it just complements the rest of the hand traps really well. Um, it's like the fourth best hand trap. It's either like this or Mourner. And I think this is a little bit better than Mourner because it's just any timing. It's also a spellcaster for Selene. Um, so yeah, I really like this lineup of going second cards a lot because it, it works really well with the impulse too, which is nice. Uh, that's the main deck. It's 42, I think 42 is correct in Rescue Ace. So. People that are questioning that, I, I think it's just, you draw your bricks a little bit less. Um, extra deck, 2SP. Um, even in this version, I still play 2SP. I think it's still really good. Uh, I made it a lot. Um, but you can't, like, if you want to play this version, you want to play on a budget, you can you can cut it to one. Um, but I, I, I made two a lot. Uh, this is what I made on my end board, IP, because you can do the IP board and set four off turbulence and only summon four times uh, if you start with airlifter. And um, that's just really strong. Like, just ending on IP, or you end on like IP Preventer, and even if they nib you, 
because that, that that play is five summon. But if they nib you, you just bring back Hydrant. So like, you you only lost them. You just traded a nib, a card in their hand for IP basically. Uh, but this card's really good because it just goes into SP, so it's like really flexible. I also played the uh, the Heat Soul package. So the idea of the deck at first was just to do this turn one. But then I found that if I did this combo turn one, it always played into Nib. And I felt like this play was just a little bit safer. But I still did this a few times, like if I felt like I didn't have enough defense. But if I had enough defense, I would just go into this. Or if I opened Prosperity and couldn't draw cards, I would go into this. Um, but yeah, like sometimes you want to make this. I made it a few times. It was pretty good. Because like you draw Valor, draw Nib, stuff like that. Uh, he does, card broken, dark, it's broken. Um, access code, Celine. I still play these, even though some people have cut the Celine. Uh, I think it's really good. Good for a game a lot. Uh, Unicorn, uh, Link Creepo. I didn't play Anima um, because I was playing Heat Soul. If I wasn't playing Heat Soul, this would probably just be Anima, to be honest. Then I played Proxy, Mud. Shout out our team, Mississippi Mud Dragons. You already know. Uh, Best Dweller. Um, I did this a few times. I've seen people cut it because this card, this combo plays really, really hard to nib. But like against tier element and stuff, this card is just game. So like you force them to have nib or you they just lose. And then the last card was Typhon. I think you have to play this card right now in this deck. It's just this card's insane. You want to tell them why our team name was Mississippi Mud Dragons? Uh, the reason our name is the Mississippi Mud Dragons is because I always make fun of Trevor for being from Mississippi and Mississippi's. They live in the mud, so <laughs> I call Trevor the Mud Dragon of Mississippi. You know, he's like the best duelist of Mississippi. Shout out to everybody that's worse than him in Mississippi. I'm yes, sorry. Uh, three Droll. Uh, this is a side deck now. Um, this card was going to be in my main deck, but I didn't feel like I was going to play against that mini combo, which I didn't. Uh, but it was, it was still okay. I don't think I actually used it to do anything. <laughs> uh, three DD Crow. Um, so I wanted more hate against Pearly. I do recognize that Bastilles are better against um, Tier Element. But I think this card's slightly better in some situations against uh, Unchained. But this card is really, really good against Por uh, like Pearly. Um, just being able to hit like their spells and stuff off Black Cat. Which they can play around it, but it's hard for them to do. Their hand has to be right. Uh, two Xyz Encore. Um, I would have played three. I just didn't have room for the third. Because there's just a lot of other cards I wanted to play. Um, two Triple Tactics Talents. Uh, I didn't main deck this card, but Trevor convinced me. He's like, I think you need to play this card because game two and three, you're going to get hand trapped so much. And this card, if you get hand trapped in your version of the deck, because, you know, you just, you have so many lines of play, you just look at their hand, rip their hand, and then set up a medium board and they just lose. Um, then I played one Lightning Storm, one Harpies. I know this looks weird. Like, why wouldn't you play two Lightning Storm? I just wanted another card for the mirror. It also randomly hits like the rogue and the trap decks and stuff, so it's really good. And then the last card I played, I thought a lot of people wouldn't play around, which is three anti spell. This is like the only flood you can really play in the deck because people are bringing in like harpies and stuff against you. And this card just like no one's really playing evenly, so this card just turns off LS, it turns off harpies, and like other cards are really good against you, like econ. Uh, it's really good in the mirror, it's really good against uh, Parley, it turns off their field, but they just can't get to the field spell and like activate it, so you just flip this and they lose. Um, this card's really good. Uh, so yeah, that was the deck. Um, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos, guys. Peace.